All right, guys, today we're going to take a look at this brick. This is absolutely a massive piece of steel. This is a container lock. You don't often get a chance to take a look at these. Uh, sits flush against the container. The hasp, of course, goes right into that slot, and then the shackle goes through it. Very cool, very heavy duty. When this thing's installed on the container like that, you can beat the devil out of this piece of steel, and it's going to get you absolutely nowhere. Uh, here's what the key looks like. So we got some pretty good bidding, especially with these low cuts up here in the front. And if I can turn it, we also have a limiter, so it limits the rotation to 90 degrees, and it is key retaining. So that slides out, and it unlocks from the container and just pulls straight off. And then just slide it back on, push that back in place, and lock it up. So very cool, very solid piece of engineering there, I gotta say. Um, because this is a container lock, I'm gonna try to do this uh, so that it's a little bit realistic. I'm gonna do it on the bench. Let me zoom in a little so you guys can get it. Oh, maybe a little too much there. Get an idea of what I'm doing. I'm gonna stay off of this because after all the container is located over there. So I really couldn't hold it and pick it that way. It wouldn't be right. So I'm gonna try. Let's see if this ought to be about right. It is a Yale style keyway. So what I believe I'm gonna do is just reach around something like reach under the camera. I'll just tension it like that, and that way we can stay completely away from that container. I'm going to take a 15 thousandths because it is a little bit of a paracentric keyway. Slide it in, a little tension. Let me turn it and give you a little bit better view. And let's see what we got. Okay, that was pin six. Looking for a binder. We've got to click off of pin four. Obviously, I got very, very light tension with that finger there. Pin threes give me a little counter rotation. There we go. So here's a spool. Okay, that was pin two. I got a little fault set going now. Pin three back down. And there we go. Get my pick stuck and pull them open. Now we are in that container. Now when it comes to taking this apart, I'm a little less sure. Um, I believe if I take this screw out, we'll be able to pull it away from the shackle. I'm not sure. We'll try it. I'm pretty sure that's the limiter. I'll just give it a shot. Okay, didn't expect that. And there we go. Okay, we won't need that body anymore. Got all solid steel. And I don't know, here we go. Shackle does come out, so we don't need that anymore. There are our locking ball bearings. Don't need those. And I've just got to figure out how to get that lock cylinder out of there. Aha, uh -huh. there are two screws there in the very bottom of that, they are Phillips. So perhaps the face of this will come off. It is a loner lock, so I don't want to be taking any pins out. Okay, for sure that left one is loose. There are the screws. All we need now is a way to get that faceplate off. Maybe it unscrews? No? Let me try a little prying action. Um, tell you what, I'm going to take this screw and I'm going to drive him back in there about two or three threads. And then... I'm going to give them a whack, and maybe it'll drive that plate off for us. There we go. He's starting to come off now. Take that screw back out. And there we go. Look at there. It's a standard Euro cylinder. There's our actuator, still covered with grease. 
And let me shove all this stuff out of the way since we won't really need that until I go to the reassembly. All right, we do have a key. Let me lock him back up. I'm going to pull this ring off using these guys. Maybe if I can get in position properly. Come on. There's a rim. There's a rim on there preventing me from using the pliers. All right. Um, backup plan. I just need to create a large enough gap to get these needles in there. Why can't they make it easy? <laughs> this is harder than picking the lock. Oh man, give me a break. All right, um, let's go with something really sharp that I can potentially injure myself with. Pry that dude off of there. That's what I'm talking about. Now, use a little more force. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Whew. I would not have expected it to be that hard. Why'd they put that lip on there, for goodness sakes? That made no sense. All right, we do have a key in this pile of stuff. Let me get a pinning tray. And let's see what Zone put in here. All right, I am going to put a shim in it. Just in case. I don't think there's anything other than spools in it, though. And there we go. All right, we do have some anti-drill, so they did think ahead when it came to that. I don't see any weirdness. Let me uh, back that up real good. All standards. And nothing weird about the core. All right, we have a serrated. This is an S. I did not expect to find something like that in there. And then we have our spool, which we expected. Another spool. Another spool. There must have been a sale on spools that week. And the last one. Dollar to a donut. Yep, another spool. And all these guys are all the same. Of course, it's factory. Well, there you go. Not a whole lot to that, guys. If you can pick spools, you can certainly pick your way into whatever container is protected by one of these. The only one that had me going was pin number one. I did not expect to find that acyl-like serration, almost like a barrel pin, but not quite deep enough to call them that. That's what we're looking at. Anyway, guys, the purring you hear in the background is not, uh, not my microphone. That is a guard cat who just won't be quiet. Anyway, guys, I appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Hold on. Before you leave, click that subscribe button. And while you're there, click that notification bell as well. If you'd like to be a sponsor, click there. And for five bucks a month, you get all kinds of benefits. If that's not enough free stuff, hit the Lock Lab. We've got a self-paced lockpicking course with over a dozen modules at the bottom of the page. Join the tribe, subscribe, 